Hello everyone, this is the second part of uh, ANSYS Fluent tutorial uh, and in this tutorial I'm going to simulate a very simple case of flat boundary layer and the simulation would be two dimensional um, the Reynolds number would be something like 10,000 and uh, we will make the geometry first in the space claim and then we will mesh it accordingly and do the setup and simulation and finally we will take a look at results at the end so for that reason I drag and drop a uh, fluid through to the right and uh, make sure that you change the analysis type when you click on geometry make sure to change the analysis type to 2D and then just double click on geometry until the space claim opens up it may take few seconds but uh, we'll wait So still waiting. So here is the here is the space claim. What I would like to do is to make a flat plate onto on on X Y plane. So what I need to do is to change my coordinate uh, or actually my plane my uh, sketch plane to XY and then I just click on this to have it like plane view so what I need to do is just to make a rectangle and uh, it should be 1 meter for example and 500 millimeter like this and if I click on 3D mode my surface is created so I think I'm fine with the geometry I'll just close it very simple geometry but still so if I click on mesh now I should expect to have my geometry on the mesh editor so you see that the mesh is starting up geometry is not loaded yet So here is the geometry, a flat plate, or actually a flat rectangle. If you assume this is a plate, this would be the far field, this would be the inlet, and this would be the outlet. But uh, let's just click on generate mesh and see what, what, what mesh it gives us. So if I click on show mesh, you see that you have a, quite a coarse mesh and uh, what I would like to do is uh, to add some edge sizing and uh, and also this face meshing uh, in order to have a proper mesh for the final boundary layer simulations first I will click on insert I go to mesh right click insert and face meshing and then I click on on the top I select the face and then I select this face and then I just click apply so the face meshing is applied on this uh, on this surface now then uh, I need to adopt some edge sizing as well so I click on edge I click on sizing I change the surface selection to edge selection I select this one and this one and I click apply on the geometry so you see that two edges are selected and then instead of element size I'll go for uh, number of divisions and I put number of divisions to 60 and uh, I'm happy with that and then what I need to do is to do the same for these two edges as well so I right click on mesh I insert sizing and then I select this edge I click apply and uh, I would change it to number of division number of division to 60 and then I do the same for the one on the right side so I click this edge click apply number of division 60 and uh, let's click on generate mesh and see how the, f the mesh looks like now so you see the mesh is looking much better much finer 
but still it's not what we desire. What we desire is to have a little bit of a finer mesh close to the plate since we are going to simulate the boundary layer uh, you will expect a lot of uh, phenomena happening uh, close to the plate rather than far field so what I would like to do is to to uh, actually use uh, this uh, advanced option that you have here and that is the bias type so if I click on the edge so this one is already selected this is this one so if I click on bias and uh, if I click on this one for example and uh, put the bias factor of 1.2 for example and if I click on update or maybe 10 yeah you see that the mesh is uh, biased toward that side so I probably need to change the direction so instead of that one I pick this one and then I click update again and now you see that the mesh is uh, finer toward the plate so I'll do the same for this one as well I put the bias to 10 again but uh, this time I think I would I should choose this instead and uh, put the bias factor to 10 bias factor 10 and then I just click update so it seems much better now but it's still uh, you see that this uh, face meshing uh, options is not working properly you, you have uh, your lines which were like more parallel before is inclined toward each other uh, so I think uh, there are some uh, restrictions on this face meshing or this edge sizing which is making this problem so uh, to fix that one I'll change this behavior from soft to hard and this means that all other restraints on this uh, sizing that is being uh, adopted or applied to this uh, specific edge from the other mesh settings is being ignored and uh, this will be working hardly or hard and uh, we'll see how this works now if I click on update you see now this looks much better now everything is uh, uh, perfect and looks uh, fine but I would like to change this uh, bias factor a little bit so that I would have a uh, much finer mesh close to the wall so I put this to 15 rather than 10 and then I click update yeah looks good uh, the last thing I would like to do is uh, just to create some name selection I click on the edge and then right click and create name selection this is my inlet and uh, this is my outlet and of course I have this wall or plates or whatever you want to call it I would call it plate and then I have this far field boundary at the top I call it far field so I think I'm fine with the mesh I close the mesh then you see that it's already updated so now the setup I double click on the setup I make it like a double precision simulation and I just click OK so that the fluent starts up so here you see that things are being loaded here is your geometry with the mesh and uh, what I need to do is to go to the model first double click on the model make sure that the energy is set to off since uh, you're running on a low Reynolds number um, I, I think laminar is fine enough and then just click double click on the material double click on the air put the density to 1 and the viscosity to something like 1 e to the power uh, minus 4 and uh, you can keep the name as there it doesn't matter just change and create and your fluid will be updated 
So I'm changing this material uh, in, a in accordance uh, to the Reynolds number I desire. I, I would like to have a Reynolds number of 10,000. So with the velocity of 1 and viscosity of uh, 1 e minus 4 and the density of 1, I would get the, I would get the Reynolds number of 10,000. So the next would be the boundary condition. So as I said, the inlet would be 1 meter per second. I click OK. The far field is symmetry. This is not wall. So it seems like it's taken as wall as a default, but I'll change it to symmetry since this is not a wall. And then the outlet is just the pressure outlet with the pressure equal to 0. Gauge pressure is 0 Pascal. And the plate which is uh, selected as a wall by default. Then uh, I'll go to method. The method I'll keep it uh, as a default. Scheme would be simple. Gradient I will choose uh, least square cell based uh, and pressure and momentum would be second order and second order upwind. And then uh, maybe the monitor. I double click on the monitor, double click on residual. Make sure to change the residual to lower value so that you can run it for higher iterations and then I'll just click OK and then finally you have to initialize your solution you can either use hybrid solution hybrid initialization or simply a standard initialization and starting it uh, from your inlet perhaps with the X velocity 1 just click on initialize Is it initialized now? Seems like yes. And then uh, I go to run calculation and uh, it will do for 1000 iteration to see how far it goes or how fast it converges. So I just click on calculate and we will monitor the, the convergence on the right. So it is converging quite fast and you see that after like uh, 300 iterations the residuals like the continuity, xy velocity and uh, other things has dropped to uh, 1e minus 8. I think uh, I would be happy with that solution. And then what I need to do is uh, just close this one and go to results in order to show some results so if I click on the Z direction and let's just make a contour plot of velocity and the location would be symmetry 1 if I click on this velocity and make it like 20 contours you see that how beautifully the boundary layer is uh, shown in the contour plot you can also show the velocity I mean the, the pressure by just changing the variable to pressure and you see the, the pressure uh, filled in this uh, domain you can also make some uh, vector plot and uh, you can choose symmetry one you can deselect your contour plots and click apply you see that close to the wall the boundary layer is uh, shown quite interestingly so here is your boundary layer you can also make a location we can make a line and plot the boundary layer profile and uh, for that reason I go to insert and then location and then I make a line I name it name I name it uh, line one so pick one for both but for point one and point two I pick uh, I think the maximum is 
0.5 yes and then the line type would be cut you can choose sample as well you can make it like 50 samples but uh, you can also make a cut which is more accurate so then just click apply and then go to insert again and make a chart I call it chart 1 title doesn't matter I go to data series I uh, I pick the location here and the data series as line 1 and then what I would like to see is x uh, uh, the variable as velocity and y the variable y and then I just click apply and you see this uh, Lazius type of uh, boundary layer is uh, shown quite uh, interestingly so this was the second uh, tutorial for ANSYS Fluent. This was quite easy, but uh, still we learned something in the meshing and um, maybe something in the simulations and the setup as well. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be more complex step by step. I hope you follow the page and uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.